Hello everyone, welcome to the LUMP Lecture Series featuring The Five Elements, Part 3, brought to you by LUMP Aqua Wellness Foundation, Inc. Generation and Restraint. In TCM, Five Elements or Five Faces Theory outlines relationship between different elements in nature and life force, or chi, that flows to them. The basic elements are wood, fire, earth, metal, water. Each individual is a blend of these elements. In order to be truly healthy, they need to be balanced. Understanding how the five elements affects one's health can help the doctor develop a comprehensive and effective treatment plan to eliminate chronic conditions. Health conditions arise when the five elements become imbalanced. One element will become too strong or active. We are able to determine this harmony between elements of patient. Assessment and diagnosis process is very thorough. We will note color of the skin and sound of the voice. We will ask questions to determine your sensory experiences, as well as discover what areas of your body or mind are troubling you. The five elements are related to one another in two basic systemic and regulatory ways, generation and restraint or controlling. Generation and restraint are together a fundamental principle used by the theory of the five elements to encompass and explain the relationships between things and their development and changes. Shang cycle is a creation cycle. It illustrates how each element generates and nurtures the next, similar to relationship between mother and child. The concept of generation contains the ideas of production, stimulation, and augmentation. The cyclic sequence of generation is as follows. Wood generates fire. Fire generates earth. Earth generates metal. Metal generates water. And water generates wood. There are two aspects to the relationship of generation for each element those of being generated and of generating. The generating element is the mother of the generated element, and the generated element is the child of the generating element. Hence, the generation relationship is also known as the mother-child relationship. Take fire, for example. Fire generates earth. Thus, fire is the mother of earth, and earth is the child of fire. The other four elements follow this example. Wood creates fire. Wood is burned to make fire. Fire creates earth. When fire burns, it leaves ash, which creates earth. Earth creates metal. Earth produces ore from which we create metal tools. Metal creates water. Water condenses on metal surface. Water creates wood. Water is vital to trees' ability to grow and provide wood. People develop digestive issues from irregular eating, excessive worry, and overwork. So there will be proliferation of dampness, which then affects metal element. Within this case, you see a combination of bloating, gas, and poor energy with metal or lung symptoms, like sinusitis or phlegm-type asthma. The cool cycle is one of control and describes how each element acts to restrain another. 
The concept of restraint contains the ideas of restriction, check, and inhibition. The cyclic sequence of restraint is as follows. Wood restrains earth. Earth restrains water. Water restrains fire. Fire restrains metal. And metal restrains wood. As for generation, there are two aspects to the relationship of restraint for each element. Those of being restrained and of restraining. The restraining element is the suppressor, and the restrained element is the suppressed. Hence, the relationship of restraint is also known as the suppressor-suppressed relationship. Again, take fire for example. Fire is the suppressor of metal, and metal is the suppressed of fire. In the theory of the five elements, each element has a direct relationship with all the other elements. For example, earth is the mother of metal and the child of fire, and at the same time, it is the suppressor of water and the suppressed of wood. Wood controls earth. Wood is used to mold earth into a dam. Earth controls water. Dam restrains flow of water. Water controls fire. Water used to extinguish fire. Fire controls metal. Fire melts metal ore and allows it to be shaped. Metal controls wood. Metal saw is used to harvest trees for wood. Controlling co-grandparent-grandchild cycle provides for check and balance system among all of the elements. Within this cycle, earth, for example, provides control for water and is controlled by wood. Example of this relationship within the body is in anxiety, fire, related to liver cheese stagnation, wood, where, over time, you begin to see more kidney, water-related signs as water element attempts to control overactive fire. It should be noted that in Chinese medicine, the two relationships of generation and of restraint are inseparable. Without generation, things cannot be born and cannot develop. Without restraint, things can grow without limit and cause harm. It is necessary to have both generation and restraint in order to maintain harmonious relationships between things and to assure their normal development and change. The course of uh, generation and restraint is also the course of the waxing and waning of all things, in which the old balance and coordination break down and the new balance and coordination are reached through the self-adjustment of their generation and restraint relationships. The course of this cycle of balance, imbalance, balance gives impetus to the ceaseless development and change of things. Hence, the essence of the theory of the five elements is the maintenance of the normal regularity of generation and restraint among the elements. Another type of imbalance can create a pattern called the overacting or Chang cycle. This can happen when the grandparent element, instead of beneficially controlling the child, exerts too much control and damages or smothers the child. The grandparent overacts and hurts the child. The control direction is exactly the same as the Ko cycle. However, in the Cheng, it is excessively intense, indicated by double arrows. Wood overexerts pressure on the earth, totally depleting its nutrients. 
earth over controls water to smother it completely and the river disappears. Water extinguishes fire altogether and there is no more spark of enthusiasm. Fire overmelts metal to the point that metal vaporizes and disappears. Metal chops all the wood, such as mankind's machines destroy all the forests. The insulting Fu cycle is the opposite of the controlling Ko cycle. It represents an imbalance in the system. In the insulting Wu cycle, the child element that would normally be controlled and balanced by the grandparent in the Ko cycle becomes excessively imbalanced and controls its grandparent. It resists the control and reverses it, somewhat like a manipulative grandchild. For example, instead of metal, the axe, controlling the wood, tree, if wood becomes overly excessive, it can insult metal, ganging up on the metal and overwhelming it, causing metal to become imbalanced. This is like a rebellious child insulting or trying to discipline its grandparent. In the insulting cycle, that element which is normally controlled harms the controller. This reversal of the normal cool cycle can happen when the grandparent element is deficient. For example, wood can overwhelm and cover metal. Too much wood insults metal. Metal can smother fire. Too much metal insults fire. Fire can injure or evaporates water. Too much fire insults water. Water can wash away earth. Too much water insults earth. Earth can bury wood. Too much earth insults wood. So, here we see the pathological influences in the liver. So if we have liver deficiency, the heart is drawing from the liver. Spleen insults the liver. Lung overacts on the liver. And the kidneys will fail to nourish the liver. In liver excess, liver will overact on the spleen the lung is failing to control the liver and the liver is drawing from kidney heart affects liver if heart blood is deficient it can lead to general deficiency of blood and this affects the liver storage of blood this causes scanty period or amenorrhea. Spleen affects the heart. The spleen makes chi in blood and the heart needs a strong supply of blood. If the spleen does not make enough blood, the heart will suffer palpitations, insomnia, poor memory, and slight depression ensues. Lungs affect spleen. The lungs govern chi. If lung chi is deficient, spleen chi will be affected. This causes tiredness, no appetite, and loose stools. Often in practice, spleen chi and lung chi deficiency occur together. Kidneys affect the lungs. If kidney chi is deficient, it will fail to hold the chi down. Chi will rebel upwards and obstruct the lungs, causing breathlessness. Liver affects kidneys. Liver blood nourishes and replenishes kidney essence. If liver blood is deficient over a long period of time, it can contribute to kidney essence deficiency, and this causes dizziness, tinnitus, poor bone development, sexual weakness. Thank you very much for your attention. See you on our next videos.